the dog. <laughs> Welcome to Curiosity Public Dutch Dylan. And welcome to another episode of our bar review, our bar reaction, our bar analysis, whatever you want to call it. We're going to the movies this time. We're going to the movies. And we're going to a cult classic, if yeah. you will. The Big Lebowski. This is totally a Christmas vacation kind of movie. Yeah, you either love it or hate it, I yeah, feel like, too, right? You yeah. know, there's people that... It's polarizing. Actually, I take that back. There's people that are obsessed with it, and yeah. there's people that love it, and then there's people that hate it. Right. And there's pretty much nothing no in between. No one in between. Yeah. So um, I remember distinctly the first time I saw this. Do you guys remember the first time you saw this? I do. Not distinctly. Mm. I just remember. It was a VHS tape. I oh, me that. too. Yeah. yeah, I know. Me too. <laughs> and it was a rental. Uh, I think I borrowed it from the library. Wow. wow. That's old school, That's an man. impressive nice. library. Yeah. The kind. But rewind. Uh, but anyway, Big Lebowski is basically the story of an L.A. bum-ish kind of guy. You know, the kind of guy that maybe you had a little bit of money at one point in time and then basically was like, I don't want to work anymore. The and dude. I just, and I just want to bowl and drink old, like, uh, white Russians. <laughs> and that's the dude. The dude. You know, what an amazing performance as well, right? Right. Yep. Jeff Bridges Jeff kills Bridges. it. Uh, what He's a like fan. seriously one of my favorite actors. Mm-hmm. He's fantastic. And he out. seems like such a really nice guy, yeah. too, which is cool. I just love the way he talks. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> it is. Um, all right, let's take a quick look through this movie because we're going to be analyzing the various bars because there's a lot yeah, of bars there's, here. there's a bunch in here. Now, they're not bars in, in, in like, in in like a bar you go out to. They're like home bars. Right. So there's going to be a little bit of a different analysis, but let's start with the big, the with the, the regular the Lebowski, regular bar, yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey Lebowski's right. bar. Uh, as you can see here, he's got his uh, picture of Richard Nixon bowling, bowling, which is awesome. Bowling in the White House probably, right? Yeah, he added uh, bowling right. lanes, yeah. right? Like that was like his addition his to the White House. Yeah. And we can see his bar is clearly set up <laughs> to make one drink. Only wow. one drink. Um, I wouldn't be able to make. So obviously this is white Russian. He's got the the half and half or the heavy cream. I don't know what he's pouring. It's in his hand. Right. And then all I really can see is Kahlua and vodka and then the ice bucket, right? (laughs) Yeah, that's all he has, man. It's like uh, the Daisy brand for the (laughs) half and half. Right. And he's in the the Ralphs at the beginning of the movie buying Buying the half and half. half, I mean, this is awesome. It's hilarious. I mean... The, and it's really distinct, though. I mean, you can easily pick that out. Well, it's also it's, it's very clear from this bar that that's pretty much the only thing he drinks. Because yeah. there's even the mini bottles of, of so true of Smirnoff, yeah, Smirnoff. down there too. Mm. Uh, this is one of the movies that actually inspired me to try. Me too. An old uh, no, white not, Russian, a white Russian for the yeah. first time. Me too. How about you guys? And I went through a little run of that where that's the only thing I ordered. <laughs> um, since I you know support independent thinking, no, I did not do that. Remember, not. I don't. Do mixed drinks? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's uh, the only <laughs> the only other thing I note in the bar is some sort of like a like a soda machine or something like a really? like, a, like a soda. Oh, like a fizzy thing. Like there's like yeah, a fizz, yeah, yeah. fizzy water thing there. Yeah, that black right. kind of. But they, that was like way too early to have that kind of stuff. No, no, no. They, they used to have those uh, the soda the water. 1990s. Oh, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Lucy. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. My favorite show. Okay, now we know. Uh, I would... Okay, if you walked into the dude's house... I feel like that's like... is What's that in the back, though? This, like I think it's like an old bottle of... Okay. It looks like an older bottle of Kahlua or something. I can't tell. But it's not clear. We it's don't have a good enough clear. shot of it. Okay, if you walked into the dude's bar... I'm not telling him anything, dude. Don't change a thing. <laughs> I'm kind of with you. I'm like, <laughs> I mean, yep, you know on, what? You I'll have a white I'll Russian. Have, okay. Exactly. And I'll enjoy the heck out of it. Exactly. I'll just enjoy hanging out with him. Yeah, I will actually agree with that in, in that he, it's a singular focus. Yeah, I kind of have to appreciate that. I'm sure that. he makes a really good one because he's do, he does it so many times. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, if I were to objectively evaluate it, of course it would fail right. at every level. But, again, he knows what he likes and he goes right after yeah. it. I, the, for, the, for, the, for the stated cause, it's a 10 out of 10. Right. The, 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 <laughs> my criticism is that Perhaps you thing. can get slightly higher vodka, you know, quality yeah. maybe. Do you need it in a white Russian? Well, probably not. But, you know, if you are expecting like a guest, 
you know, a slightly higher no, vodka. Here's, here's where your criticism comes in. It's like, he should, he should have the Costco size. Mm. Of both. <laughs> of both. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You know and I mean? then he should have the Costco it's size half and half. half, and half. half. Yeah, as well. Exactly. Like, the half yeah. That's, that's it, yep. the only criticism that's acceptable. Here. Okay. But he has ice on hand. Right. I mean, it's it, ready to go. I, I have to appreciate that. Like, I kind of wish that I just had one thing. Yeah. You know, really and then my bar it. would be so much more simple. And like anybody who came in like centered around make you a white Russian man. It's right here. It's right. So true. I really have a have a soft spot for this, but then again, I uh, Me too. have a soft spot for this movie. Okay, let's move on to the Ooh. next bar, which Wait, we're is not gonna rate this big. Well, I, I would say ten yeah. out of ten for yeah, the stated did. purpose. You say ten out of ten for the stated purpose you for said the dude zero for the dude. This is a ten out of ten. Objectively, as a spirits connoisseur, it's like a one out of ten. Yeah, not but, even. It's a zero. You're making a mixed drink. You don't even have anything neat. Yeah, yeah. I, I give it a one because it's again singular focus. St- singular focus. You make one drink, one, you get a one. But for the dude, it's a cocktail. Yeah, for him, it's a ten. It's a ten. Yeah, it's, it's a, a ten. ten. And and that's all that should matter for the dude. That's true. All right, let's now let's move on to the big Lebowski, yeah. the old Lebowski bar. Um, we've got so he had a bar cart. Yeah, we've got one shot of him, uh, kind of from a distance, and you can see the bar cart, and it looks perfect. Yeah, it looks awesome. And even in the next frame, or the next uh, image that we have where we're zoomed in, I don't know what the heck any of those are. But they're all brown liquor. No. And I have to assume some of them are some decent whiskey, maybe a decent port or a cognac in there. What do you guys think? Totally. No, these are all decanters. Yeah. yeah these I are know. all decanters. Yeah, so they're not the, in the talk. original drinks. Right. I know. The, but you have to assume, or we're assuming what we, th- what we're, we're guessing yeah. what, what they might it? be. Yeah. yeah. At, at this age... Like it, at this time period, the kind of ambiance, the kind of person he it's is, cognac. those things are, yeah, cognac. exactly. No, I think there's some I think there's cognac think there's whiskey. and there's also whiskey. There's scotch. There's scotch. scotch. I don't know about whiskey. So, no. so there's some Macallan 25. In no. <laughs> you know why? Look, look, this is what you have to do. You have to look at the color. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to look at the color and say, okay, this cognac. is not a 12 year. Yeah. That's not a 12 year. Yeah. Um, that's got to be at least. At least at 18, I would say probably older than that. There's Which no one? way you can get so, a color like that. That's a Dewar's um, 32, <laughs> right? The one on the bottom shelf, the the, the middle shelf it's or whatever. super dark, yeah. yeah. That's really dark. Yeah, it's really dark. That's probably a cognac. It, it's probably, the ones on the top shelf, it could be The ones scotch. on the left, I think, are scotch. Yeah, scotch. And the one on the far right on the top. Probably another cognac. Or yeah. Another, yeah, or, dark. or... So dark. Maybe a port or some some like wine. The sad thing is, is I think Could this is a bit wine. of movie magic. It's probably just food color. Well, no, I know, but I have to kind of take that out it and totally say is, in, in this scenario, this in a person like this, yeah. I mean, the whole thing is fake. But yeah, but you know, you know for a fact, you're walking into Big Lebowski's, you know, study by the fireplace, and he's like, "What do y'all have?" Yeah, I'm like, "Can you pour me a scotch?" One of those is going to be a decent scotch. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say, all I know. I'm going to say. Not just decent. It's going to be rare and expensive. I don't know, man. Sometimes these kinds of guys are cheap. Hey. <laughs> yeah. like, uh, and they take the Kirkland no, and man. they pour this it in a nice decanter. <laughs> yeah, totally. No, like, like, uh, no, this is like one of those you bought at an auction, dude. No, this Le- is the highest bid. It's a Lefroy 10. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, Prince Charles. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It's proper. Yeah, I mean, uh, well. <laughs> I, 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 love the, I love the look. Yeah. For the look and the ambiance. And all that, I give it an eight out of ten, just on appearance, not knowing what's in there. Mm. What do you yeah, think? Looks you guys? great. No, I'm with you. Eight out of ten works. I would love to see a label. The, the glass, the glassware, the the crystal. It looks great. That's is awesome. Amazing. So, I I, I I think eight out of ten. Eight, seven, eight. I'd say eight. Seven. Maybe. No, yeah. Not the, seven. the problem is if we could, if we knew what was each, in each of those. That score could go up or down by like two. nine or ten. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, sure. but it could go down too. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next bar that we see in the movie, which is Maud Lebowski's bar. So we've got a couple different shots of this. Yeah. Um, and, and let's cycle through them. So the first shot is a pretty good overview. Are Some of the different s- bottles? You can't really see. The different angles, as we kind of get the closer angle, you can see a little bit more. And in the last one that we have here, you can, you can see kind of... The only thing that really jumps out at me in the last one is that there's an amaretto. Amaretto. You know? But um, let's take a look at this shot here with the dude standing right in front of it. Okay. Um, there's definitely an Austin Nichols wild turkey right oh, there. Yeah, I see the wild smack turkey. dab. Yeah, you can in the see middle. the wild turkey. Mm. And I know that's the one all of us are grabbing. The other one looks like a champagne bottle. For sure. Yeah, there's some wine, some, some champagne. champagne. Yeah. 
Um, if we take a look at the other, the, the one right before this one, there's definitely some vodka. It looks like some vermouth on the far left far there. Left. I agree. Yep. And then there's definitely bitters. There's Angostura right there, smack dab in the middle. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're right, right here. Good call. And then, it, um, you know, the the dude grabs the powdered Powder. yeah. um, what is creamer. That? Uh, yeah, yeah. Which um, is, when he makes his old fashioned. Uh, or, sorry, his, uh, his uh, white Russian. White Russian. So he grabs, obviously, there's Kahlua. The Kahlua has the pour spout in right. the back there. You can barely see it. But right next to that, there's a canister. Yeah. And it looks like a. I have no idea. It looks like a. It's, it looks like a it's a scotch. scotch of some yeah. kind. And, uh, you know, none of the other box. shots. I, I mean, I, I watched the scene a couple times and I couldn't get a better better picture than this. Of yeah. that. That's definitely some kind of scotch. Yeah. We have no idea what it is. What are you guys grabbing on this table? Maud Lebowski's bar. Try the scotch. You're you grabbing the scotch? The mystery, mystery oh, scotch? Turkey. No, did I get the turkey? I'd be curious what the scotch turkey. is. Any of those older turkeys with the with the Austin Nichols on it? True. So, or Dude, that, that that bottle right now is like eight thousand, nine thousand, yeah. nine thousand. I don't know if that's an age dated one or not. What year did this movie come out? Ninety something. We'll pop it up. Ninety. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm grabbing the wild turkey, dude. Yeah, I agree. Uh, overall, how do you rate Mod's Bar? Wait, you know that that canister? Is it a? It looks like an Avalor to me. I thought it was Dewar's. It could be. It's really hard to tell it's from this picture. Tell. But like, guys, Wait, is that an apostrophe S right there? It's hard to tell. The wild turkey <sighs> bottle. It's really hard to tell, dude. Yeah. But let's rate this just on overall. Mm. When I look at this, what I think is okay. There's glassware. There's bitters. It looks like there's one of everything to make a cocktail. There's mm-hmm. coffee. Coffee. There's champagne. Ice bucket. Ice bucket. There's, there's lemons. lemons. This yeah. is a fantastic. Yeah. It's minimalist. A, it's a nice selection countertop bar i yeah. really have to give this an eight out of ten eight mm. just for the diversity okay look a scotch connoisseur a whiskey connoisseur is going to walk in it and you know what there's old wild turkey you're going to be satisfied i think it might be a nine though because of that <sighs> i don't know if, i mean for comparing know, man. You, for this you movie, have an argument dylan what do you for think comparing for this movie i don't know the feeling i get is like a seven i, I, I see mean, this is a, I get that too. in terms of like the quality of stuff, yes, there's a little bit of variability. Right. And the only reason that I rate it higher is because it's Compared 2021 when exactly. I'm looking at this. And yeah. I'm like, I can't find that wild turkey Exactly. Anymore. Yeah, but at the time. At the time, it's, it but it's, it's an average bar. But you know what's... No, it's, no, no, it's no, no, not no. even it's, average. Look, there's it a starts at a five. Wait, hold yeah. on. It starts at a five. And you go up or down. But it has a lemon, mm-hmm. right? It's, coffee. it's got bitters. It's got coffee. Creamer. It's got the creamer. And the creamer doesn't go bad. Right. So, like, for, for people who it's want white vermouth. Russian. It's got vermouth. It's got champagne on ice. Yep. I mean, like, God. those things, like, elevated higher and higher. Right. I mean. And glassware. All the different glassware nine. you need. Nine. I give it a seven. I give it a seven. I'm nine. happy with my eight. I'm going to split the difference, guys. Nine. The one thing I will say on this far shot. It looks like tangery. There's a different bottle in the front. That's all I'm saying. Like, And, I and this is a different point different. in time. Right. Uh, oh, true. It does look like that's a rum. Yeah. Looks like a, like a Bacardi. Yeah. And then you can see the Kahlua right next to right it there. Next, yeah. And you can very clearly see the the Disarono. Yeah. And so it's a, a slightly different setup than you can see in the other shots. You know this shot right here. It's just the other oh, when no, the gentleman's back. That's a different bar. Different dude. bar. I know. Are We're we gonna, gonna get do to this that one? next. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So Dylan's jumped Dylan. again. Let's move on to the next bar, which is Jackie Treehorn's bar. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. So Jackie Treehorn's bar is later in the movie, and it's really, you only get like split-second views yeah, of it. Brief. And I, we grabbed a couple screenshots. So let's take a look at the first one. Jackie Treehorn was there taking a phone message. I have no idea. I mean, you can see the Kahlua. Yeah. That's the clearly. only thing you can see. You can see the ice bucket. And I think you can see some gin and maybe some vermouth or something. Mm. Mm, maybe the gin. you know you know the shiny little bottle right next to the Kahlua yeah. on the right side yeah the immediate next I, I'm sure this is not correct but it, ro- it reminds me of the Springbank 25 no that's oh. not it <laughs> no it does watch no. I'll bring it up no alright let's take a look at it no no it's not that dude <laughs> no. No, no 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 you didn't you didn't look at it yet you've never seen it no I know what you're talking about, I dude. see it right here. No. Uh, like this shiny right here. No. No, I don't think no. that's it. It's all shiny. I mean, it... No. Where's the old bottle here? No. Maybe. Well, let's look at the next Maybe picture. Maybe with that darker one right there. The uh, the dude goes up, 
and uh, you know traces the outline of of what Jackie Trujillo was writing, and we can see clearly the Kahlua. Yep. Definitely looks like some tank yeah, ray. Yeah, tank ray there's some vodka. Saying. There's some there's some bitters. And then there's also like the mixings for uh, right the lemon and lime, the lemon and the lime, yeah. the cocktail cocktail picks, the glassware. You know, it's it's not quite as comprehensive as Maud Lebowski's bar. Yeah, it's and not. that's why I would kind of dock it. Yeah, because like this is Jackie Treehorn. It's, like it he's should like, be. Yeah, what's the deal? Right, he's supposed to be like it's too hefty. The king. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, like so, I would expect a better bar. I'm right. sorry. This might be just the front bar. This is a six. Oh yeah, this is low. I give it a five. I was thinking yeah, about a five. Five. You saying I'm five? Five. I get a five. It's not bad. I, I, I'm hoping that this is just like the office bar. Exactly. And it's got a this proper bar back, somewhere this else. This is just the front bar. See right dude. there, dude. The back bar. No man, dude. That's not I think Spring it's like Bank twenty-five. Two bottles make right it here. look like that. Okay. That. Yeah, look no, look no, at no, that right there. Like. Look at that right there. That's yeah, not Spring Bank twenty-five, it. dude. No. Look at right the there. look at no. the top of the bottle. Look no. at the the screw cap. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So despite Dylan arguing that there's Spring Bank 25, uh, I, wish. I wish it might be a bottle of beer. <laughs> there's something there. there there's there's like, probably an interesting bottle. Thing. Yeah. There's no. probably an interesting bottle in Jackie Treehorn's collection that we just can't see. Like whatever is in the back. Yeah, right behind that tangery. But we can't see it. Yeah, I give it a five. Okay, so which, who the has the best bar? Bars? Who has the best bar? I say the dude. It's Mod. No, I'd say Mod. I'd say Mod. Yeah. Mod, three, Mod has the most yeah stuff. Comprehensive. Yeah. Most comprehensive. Yeah. But at the same time, I really appreciate the dudes. Me too. The simplicity. Of simplicity the one is it's stocked. Singularly focused. Yeah, I, I I agree. I mean, he knows what he wants, exactly. and and you know, kudos to someone like that, like where they they know what they want, they don't deviate from that. They drink it over and over and over again. I just can't do that. I mean, like, this is not right. my personality. And so, I mean, in a given night, I go through, like, four different bottles, right? Because right. I want to try different things. So, But I, I so appreciate that simplicity. I envy that simplicity. Maybe we should go make some white Russians right now. Speaking of simplicity, Jules, take us out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what you think in the comments Please. below. Give us a thumbs up. If you like this kind of content, let us know. Subscribe for more videos from Curiosity Public. Hit that bell icon so you get notified when there's new videos. If you want to help our channel out, be, <laughs> be sure to consider joining Curiosity Private, which is our membership program here on YouTube. Or our uh, Patreon. Or our Patreon. And uh, consider buying a t-shirt in their t-shirt shop. There's a link in the description down below. We also have a podcast. All the major podcast platforms out there. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. I love the jewels. Let's stay curious. Nice. Dun 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 dun. Dun.